Hello friends, in this video I want to show you how to tin plate copper pipes and bronze fittings. The most common procedure for tin plating pipes is using the electrolytic method. However, when we are working in the field, in someone's home, we can't use this procedure with all the chemicals involved and so on, it takes long to do it. So we have to apply a method I call the emergency tin plating method. Imagine we are working in a client's home, in his kitchen or bathroom, and we make a big mistake. We chip off the cover, the plating cover of a fitting, of a brass fitting or a copper pipe, or some part of his hardware there, and this mistake is very visible it chips off the silver cover and leaves the base metal below, the copper or bronze base metal in view and you can see it. If the client is a stickler for details, we will be in real trouble. He'll go man, he'll scream his head off. How can you be so incompetent, you rascal? You've ruined my kitchen, my thing, my home, you've ruined it. In that case, we only have two options. Either we go and buy a replacement for our mistake, or we fix it as best as possible. Now, I haven't done this for quite some time, so I'm not very sure which will be the outcome. Hmm? Let's see.
The first thing we have to do if we want to plate a piece of copper is clean it very well. First we sandpaper it, now we're going to pour some muriatic acid on it or over it to take off any grease or oil that might be stuck on it. Hmm? After cleaning it with the muriatic acid we'll rinse it in uh, distilled water. These are my results with both tin plating methods. When tin plating a bronze fitting with the emergency method, the bronze color is not visible anymore and from a distance nobody will notice it was repaired. However, it's not perfect. The new plating is opaque and contrasts with the original luster of it if we look at it closely. With regard to the piping, we can see that the electrolytic method distributes the, the tin quite uniformly but fails to deposit material on the ends and we should have this in mind when sizing the pipe. Also it didn't deposit tin under the cathode wiring and in general it has a copper hue that shows that not enough tin has been deposited and this after an hour with 4.5 volts. With the emergency method, there are some streaks of solder or tin along the surface, but it covers all the length of the pipe and shines quite nicely. Additionally, it only takes 10 or 15 minutes to produce. In general, I would say 
The emergency method works much better than the electrolytic method with these materials. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, give your comments, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.